This survey is focusing on unpacking the accessibility and inclusion and what does it look like for persons with disabilities. They reached out to persons with disabilities living across 20 cities, majority of whom, so around 55% were persons with locomotor disability, around 19% were um, deaf and hard of hearing, around 17% were visually impaired, which is blind or low vision, and others including those living with intellectual disabilities. The top findings of this survey. Transportation is a huge challenge for them. Accessing the transport itself with their aids and assistive devices like a wheelchair, but also once they disembark from the transportation, reaching a destination, accessing toilets or accessible toilets, which we may not think about, are really big challenges that they have marked. Blind and low vision individuals also said the transportation or, or traveling can be a challenge. Reaching destinations, the lack of braille markers in these places or any kind of tactile markers, these are were the main challenges that were cited. Again, accessing washrooms, not knowing where they are, inadequate support, very importantly, was what the deaf and hard of hearing folks told us. They said sign language interpretations, captions, labeling, clear markage and indications and signages were the most important or the top line issues that they faced while accessing public spaces or any other spaces for that matter. People with disabilities spoke about challenges at workplace. They spoke about challenges in recreation. They spoke about challenges in areas of life which make it Meaningful for us as individuals, the areas of life that are important, the areas of life that actually would ensure complete social inclusion. What's important is to think about recommendations because just calling out the problems is not a solution. Some of the recommendations for the governments are to provide better social security in terms of higher pensions, more uniform pensions, but also um, caregiving support for persons with disabilities, to provide bigger and better scholarships for students for and upskilling opportunities or skilling opportunities for persons with disabilities or students with disabilities or aspirants trying to apply for jobs. Very importantly, to look at how uh, physical spaces, so ha not just having ramps, but really having accessible public spaces, which would include accessible toilets, which would include working to making the built environment, the transportation and other places fully accessible across disabilities.